morning, it's our name. Today is Friday. No, that was not a Geico commercial. That was a real gecko that we have out here in Las Vegas known as the Mediterranean House Gecko. Last video shows the one that I found inside a water meter while I was doing a general pest control spray. Now, more than likely, these geckos will leave because of the fact that I just did general pest control. I'm sorry, man. I basically killed your whole food source. Eating mainly cockroaches and crickets like the ones found all throughout Las Vegas, especially at the bus stops. Have you guys ever been at a bus stop in Las Vegas? There are so many cockroaches. So seeing a gecko should make you feel safe, not sad, because they are taking care of you. Today's video will be a little less talking and a lot more seeing. But I can't see anything without these, so I need to put these on to do a little more seeing. But what are we seeing? Hundreds of angry bees. However, I will be describing the upcoming events with none other than a backstory. So this hive basically started by a couple scout bees flying along in search of an area that a budding queen can call her palace. They came across this small hole in the wall where they can move everyone in and start their very own colony. Out of harm's way from outside elements and predators. This indeed was a practical and sufficient area to infest in, no doubt. But like they say, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. So the first step in any beehive removal is to kill or incapacitate the bees. The last thing you want is hundreds of angry bees swarming every inch of your body. That is definitely not something I want. Oh, you little got stung already? Yeah. <laughs> First comes safety from the bees, then comes defense and counterattack from the bees. Now don't be alarmed, this is not chemical we are shooting at them. Although chemical warfare and fiery red torches would be sufficient. It is actually a water soap dish combination meant to make the bees unable to fly due to the heavy weight of the soap. This fight went on like this for about 45 minutes altogether. Now that's one less how we gotta worry about. Bees are gone, stop bugging rolling now. Here is the aftermath of what happened that day. This is the result of the bee job on today. Is that a live bee yet? No. He's a survivor. Over here. Not for long. <clears throat> Here's some honeycomb. Very honeyish stuff. Ooh, you can hear it. You hear it? Gooey, gooey. These are the larvae, and they're actually still moving. Oh, nice. Let's see if we can pick one up. Kind of destroying them with this huge spatula. <laughs> These survivors, they don't move much. Now on to the secret weapon of the day. Today's secret weapon of the day goes out to all those spiders who use their webs wisely and not like a can of silly string. Let me find my page here. There we go. The orb weaver spider is known for creating large intricate webs that can be feet in length. I'm talking about one foot to two feet to three feet to across a room long. Why? The bigger your web, the more you catch. But what makes the use of their web so interesting is that the orb weaver knows better when it comes to consuming venomous insects. For example, the bee. It will be spun in silk, so that way when it's consumed, the bee will not be able to sting the orb weaver while it's eating it. I mean, nobody wants injections of venom inside them while they're trying to enjoy their dinner. Now, let's answer the question of the day. Are ants and bees in the same family? The answer, no. Ants and bees are similar in many ways, such as their social behaviors and body type, but they are only the same in order of Hymenoptera, not family. Now you have a trick insect question to ask all your bug friends. Or am I the only one who has bug friends? I'll take that as a yes. Insert name. Wow, and see you on Wednesday. Question of the day. If you like the vlog or you have comments or ideas about future vlogs, drop me a comment in the comment below and I will try to answer them or I will try to put them in the video or use them or anything I can really do to make this show better.